In this video, I'm going to show you how to add R into Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda so that you can have R notebooks instead of only Python notebooks. So whenever you first download Anaconda, you will have an option to launch Jupyter Notebooks. When you launch Jupyter Notebooks, you can then add in new uh, notebooks into it. So a Jupyter Notebooks is just going to show you your overall documents on your computer. So you can go to any document you want and you can add in a new notebook. And right now the only option we have is a Python 3 notebook, but we want to be able to add in uh, our no notebook as well. So to be able to add R into our um, Jupyter Notebook, what we're going to do is go to our start and then you're going to go to your Anaconda, drop it down and click the Anaconda prompt here. And this is going to bring up just a place where you can input and you notice here in parentheses it says base and this means that this is being done to my base Anaconda environment. If you want this to be done to a different Anaconda environment, you're going to want to change your virtual environment. I'm fine with this being done to my base Anaconda environment. So in here, I'm going to write conda install dash C R R dash I R K E R N E L or kernel and press enter. And so this is actually going to start down this um, from R into Anaconda. So after a few minutes, I think five minutes to run everything. You're going to see some of that above um, code here in the description below if you just want to copy and paste it in. Um, but you're going to see something that says proceed yes or no. And that's where you're going to type in why. If you don't see this yet, don't start typing stuff in or anything like that. Just let it run until you see this or you get an error and then um, you can press enter with the Y. And that's when it's actually going to start downloading and extracting and installing in all these packages so that you can create these uh, notebooks. And then when it's done, it's going to have that again, just input code there. So now we're done with this. And if we come in here and click new, we still don't see R showing up. And that's because we actually need to restart our Jupyter Notebook. So I exited out of my Jupyter Notebook and now I'm going to relaunch it. So here is my Jupyter Notebook relaunched. And now you can see that when I go to new, I now have two options for a notebook. I have the Python 3 that I had earlier, or I can actually create an R notebook. So I'm gonna go into my downloads and I'm going to create an R notebook. And you can see this looks the exact same as if you've ever created a Python notebook. It looks the exact same and you can now write actual R code in it. So one of the most common things you'll do if you're a scientist is do library tidyverse. You can see that it is um, installing it and importing it in. And there you can see that there. If things like this don't work, it's because you don't actually have these is installed yet on um, your base environment. So if you haven't done any of this, you might not have installed in these packages. Now you can use something like RStudio for all of this, or just to give you the option, I actually like working in Jupyter Notebook a lot more than I actually like working in RStudio. So you can do R in Jupyter Notebook as well if you are interested in that. I hope this video was helpful and subscribe for more videos on how to work in R and other data science coding languages. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.